Hey everyone. Uh, so I wanted to talk today about a part of Obama's plan for tackling unemployment in the U.S. So unemployment, you know, um, official unemployment is at nine percent. If you look at the actual unemployment, including people who've given up looking for work and people who are significantly underemployed, then of course you have an unemployment rate that's somewhere around fifteen to even higher than that, eighteen percent maybe. Uh, so it's a very significant problem, obviously. If you have a tenth or a fifth of your workforce out of work, that's very bad news. So, I mean, first of all about the proposal, it's probably a better proposal than was the original trillion dollar bailout, in that it's got some ideas in there which aren't just... Uh, sticking a lot of money into banks' pockets. But at the same time, it comes at a point where his power is at a low. It seems to me like he's he's actually just, you know, doing this to garner votes whilst he knows he can really not be held responsible for it because it'll never get passed anyways. And if it did, then, it you know, the Republicans would have to agree to it, which they're not going to do unless unless <laughs> he makes it all tax cuts instead of a lot of tax cuts. So, I mean, I mean, I think it just adds to Obama's overall kind of weak sauce uh, image because he didn't do this kind of stuff when he was still in a position where he could have really gotten it passed. He, he seems to be wanting to go strong now that he's running for the next election and he's lost, you know, lost the Senate and lost a lot of his authority and his power. But aside from that, I want to talk about a specific part of this program, which is the bridge to work component, which is based, I believe, on a Georgia um, idea, where um, basically unemployed people at this stage is voluntarily um, can work for a company for I guess a period of kind of like four to six weeks and they'll work for that company they'll get paid their unemployment benefit or their social security benefits in Obama's current plan it would at least be minimum wage um, but they won't be paid that by the company they'll be paid that by the state so they'll just continue receiving their social security benefit it may be topped up to minimum wage um, and they work eight hours a day or you know somewhere at most eight hours a day but I guess it could be less for that company and the idea is the company trains them and then they come out of it with job skills um, my feeling to that is really I mean obviously uh, if you ask Obama he's gonna say well we're gonna make sure that they give those people something useful to do and that they actually train them of course in practice this will never happen I mean the company it's good for the company to get these people because to the company they're entirely free according to the current plan. It's all it's all the state that pays for these workers. Um, so the state is basically just paying for workers for a private company. Um, but still, if the company actually spent those six weeks training those workers to do something useful, obviously the company would still lose money. They'd need some workers that actually know stuff to teach them and therefore once those workers are actually at a level where they might be able to contribute, they leave again. So that's not going to pay off for the company. Um, so instead what they're going to of course do, which is always what happens, it happens with all of these kind of plans, it happens with all of those kind of uh, plans where people are brought in, you know, supposedly for, for training and for their education, um, they end up getting exploited heavily. So they're going to be stacking boxes and doing shit kicker jobs that require exactly two hours of training. They're going to do that job for six weeks and then the company at the end of this has no obligation to hire them or provide anything else. So after the six weeks they go um, with really no skills. That's my feeling. I mean I could be totally wrong and the companies could be super super altruistic and say we're going to actually train you for six weeks and give you all our best you know, people and skills to make sure you're productive. Um, but my feeling is that's not going to happen. They're going to keep hiring people um, 
in their normal channels to actually train up and do good jobs and they'll get these people who have a very low skill base just as basic manual labor exploit them and then kick them out all the while the state is paying for this um, and I mean the real danger is to me this sounds a lot like if something like this gets implemented at first it might sound okay at first we might have you know something that sounds reasonable and the goals will sound laudable you know it'll be like oh we'll make sure they're trained well and that'll get them into jobs and then like usual all of the kind of regulations that try to make sure get watered down um, or get not enforced and this kind of system may well then become something you know that becomes standard and then then people will say you know companies will say well all of those unemployed you know right now we're doing it voluntarily but shouldn't you know they're getting money shouldn't we force them to do it and then the state will go you know oh, well all right I mean if no one likes those poor lazy people so we'll just force them to do it and the amazing thing about that would be that these people wouldn't officially be employed and they wouldn't officially they wouldn't be getting paid by the company so they couldn't organize they couldn't have unions they wouldn't really have proper workers rights in the same way that normal workers do um, and they would only stay at these companies for six weeks providing their physical labor so they would really just exist basically as this transient kind of permanently unemployed labor force that just gets you know bounced around is nowhere long enough to actually gain any any leverage and that will increase I mean I did another video about how I think that the value of labor because of optimization um, and not just of physical labor but increasingly through computer technology of intellectual labor will make will mean that there's less actual need for people so that will decrease that will put negative pressure on the value of the human commodity and so then this would kind of catch that human commodity which is no longer really of much value and it would move them from being uh, a low value commodity to again being very much a kind of indentured surf class like in the old days um, and from there you could just you know you could just then start treating those people um, you know in whatever way you like basically because after all you're the nice guy that's allowing them to survive right it's society that through tax money is feeding them so they can't complain whatever their conditions are now the great effect of that would be anyone else that's currently employed in a shitty ass job that pays really little money but is still actually employed would then be competing against these people um, and people could tell them either you take whatever we tell you to take or we're gonna fire you and just get some of those people in and then if America did this and America started replacing a lot of their low-level kind of non-skilled jobs with these people then they would suddenly gain a competitive advantage over other countries that weren't exploiting their unskilled people in the same way and so that would put more pressure on other countries to adopt a similar system and then these other countries would <laughs> adopt a similar system and we would start basically enslaving unskilled people into a system in which they will never get any skills, will never get any rights, will never get any opportunity to organize or to really advance at all. And then 20, 30 years down the track, when someone questions this, people will say, well, you know, it's been like this forever. There's no other way. This is just, this is just the natural way of things. Um, of, you know of course they, they're not getting jobs they could get off their ass and get a job but they you know they don't so we put them into this system for so they can repay society or something like that um, and that'll just be a vicious vicious kind of cycle that will uh, consume more and more of the uh, former working class than the working poor than the you know unemployed serf class um, 
and it can just gobble up that portion of society which is no longer really needed as a workforce but you know um, since they're not really needed as a workforce they can be this kind of surf class where uh, they depend on the generosity of their betters does this all sound a bit pessimistic and I don't know almost conspiracy theoretical maybe I mean you know maybe it won't happen I think there's a good chance it won't because people will get uh, pissed off about it um, if it actually got through and I think in this case it probably won't because it's part of the entire package that I think Obama won't get through anyways um, but on the other hand, in the medium to long term, I wouldn't be surprised if it does. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the way that um, that we're being steered in. And this kind of this cycle of blackmail, of using some very, very powerless class, exploiting them really hard, and then playing them off against the people that are being slightly less exploited. I think that's a pattern that we've seen over and over again. So I wouldn't be surprised if a similar pattern emerges because now that, you know, we've kind of, we're reaching rock bottom already. We have people that are basically making wages that are no longer living wages. They can't even really sustain themselves and they need to go into debt just to pay their living expenses. So we need a level that's even lower than that. Businesses will demand that. They will demand that just having the working poor isn't good enough anymore. We need to actually come up with a way that we can um, squeeze more out of them. And then that will mean that uh, those that are, have jobs that are of a similar quality will have pressure put on them to conform to those living standards. Um,